Let's be honest, Mazda has been losing popularity lately. It used to be one of the top players in the industry. It still is, but things have been getting slow. The reason is that they forgot about their old ways. You see, Mazda did things very differently. They made up their own principles and unique types of engines that no other company could replicate. Just like the others, they started following trends. And now they seem to have learned their lesson. And they might get even better than they were back in the golden days. Watch till the end, because this engine is the evidence of that. So, what is it really? It is a groundbreaking engine by Mazda that incorporates an advanced two-stroke concept seamlessly integrated with a cutting-edge internal valve system. And some sources suggest that Mazda is ready to introduce this game-changing innovation in their upcoming next-generation vehicles. Which simply means we don't have to worry about the conventional messy oil concoction, and Mazda has already patented this revolutionary technology. This is nothing new to Mazda, they've always been creative when it comes to these things. Remember the rotary engines? Just like when it was integrated into their race cars back in the 1900s, this new engine is destined to destroy all of the ones we're currently used to, even the new experimental ones that we hear about nowadays. To be honest, we are all tired of these new rumors that are supposed to be the solution we've all been waiting for. They claim to solve all the problems and promise the ultimate engine, but they never come true. This one is different because Mazda has already filed a patent for its design. But more than that, this is truly the solution to what we're facing now, and don't take our word for it. There are reasons why this engine is just that, a solution. But before we talk about how exactly, you need to understand the ones we use currently. What are the current alternatives? If we're being honest, there are many types of engines nowadays, but there are two main mechanisms that many of the ones inside our cars use, two-stroke engines and four-stroke engines. Let's talk about that for a second in order to fully understand why this new Mazda engine is making shockwaves. Understanding how an engine works is easy if you look at its cyclic operation. The starting point of the two-stroke engine cycle is the piston, positioned at the bottom dead center or BDC, in short. This initial phase sets the foundation for the subsequent events that define the engine's functionality. As the piston ascends, creating a vacuum in the lower part of the crankcase, the reed valve responds by opening. This action initiates the induction phase, drawing in a mixture of fuel, two-stroke oil and oxygen-rich air into the crankcase. Simultaneously, within the cylinder, the fuel-air mixture undergoes compression. Approximately 15 degrees before the piston reaches the top dead center, or TDC, the spark plug ignites, ensuring a well-timed ignition as the piston approaches TDC. This ignition leads to the propagation of a flame throughout the compressed air-fuel mixture. At TDC, the second crucial step starts, the power stroke. The fully propagated flame generates power, propelling the piston downward toward the BDC. This phase marks the engine's power generation and is pivotal to its overall functionality. As the piston descends, opening the exhaust port, combustion remnants exit the cylinder. Simultaneously, the piston opens the transfer port or intake, compressing the fuel-air mixture in the crankcase. This gas exchange phase, known as scavenging, facilitates the influx of fresh fuel into the combustion chamber while expelling remnants from the previous combustion. In essence, a two-stroke engine operates through a precise sequence of steps, seamlessly integrating induction, compression, power stroke, and gas exchange. This cyclic process dictates the engine's efficiency and performance, making it a vital component in various applications. So what is the difference between two-stroke and four-stroke engines? It's easy. In a two-stroke engine, simplicity defines the whole process. Each rotation of the crankshaft triggers a singular ignition event. The air and fuel passages remain open, dictated by piston movement, presenting a distinctive operational characteristic. But the four-stroke engine follows a more structured sequence. The cycle unfolds with the intake valve opening, ushering in the air-fuel mixture into the cylinder. This initiates compression, followed by a combustion or power stroke. Subsequently, the exhaust valve opens for the expulsion of exhaust gases, finishing off with cylinder clearance to start a new cycle. In a two-stroke engine, a single spark ignites every crankshaft rotation, theoretically demanding less effort per power cycle. 
However, this efficiency comes with the challenge of drawing the air-fuel mixture from the crankcase. But the four-stroke engine, although requiring two rotations for each spark, has advantages. Notably, it eliminates the need to draw the air-fuel mixture from the crankcase, ensuring seamless engine oil retention. Plus, the exhaust cycle in a four-stroke engine contributes to enhanced fuel efficiency, providing superior mileage per litre of fuel. It is clear to see that each design comes with its own set of advantages, catering to diverse needs in the realm of internal combustion engines. In an ideal world, we could combine the benefits of these two engines. Mazda did that. And it holds its own when compared against other new and sophisticated modern engines. But before we talk about that, we should know one thing. How does it work? In the new Mazda engine, when the piston kicks off its journey from the bottom dead center, the intake valve swings open. On the ascent, the compressor kicks into gear, jamming air into the cylinder. Once the piston hits the peak, the intake valve slams shut, kicking off the compression phase. Right at the brink of the top dead center, fuel is injected under serious pressure, followed by a spark plug lighting the fireworks, which means expansion in full swing. This power surge slams the piston back to the bottom, dead center. After guttling up all that gas energy, the exhaust valve swings wide open, as does the intake valve. Simultaneously, the compressor's back is on duty, shoving fresh air in while the old and burned gas makes a swift exit through the exhaust valve. But hold up, the spectacle doesn't end here. There is a unique design that Mazda did on the intake port valve seat. A distinctive design emerges. This section is meticulously crafted to guide the initial airflow toward the cylinder wall when the valve swings open, optimizing the scavenging process. Furthermore, the intake and exhaust processes unfold almost in harmony, courtesy of the compressor, efficiently transforming the four-stroke engine into a two-stroke sensation. The short burst of valve action and the near-simultaneous intake and exhaust movements mean the camshafts moving at the same rhythm as the crankshaft. A far cry from the four-strokes camshaft spinning a 360-degree show in half a crankshaft beat. Additionally, this Mazda engine boasts an additional technological prowess, featuring a variable camshaft that facilitates the EGR system. It's the secret source. Under light loads, the exhaust valve stops the operations early, trapping gas for more oomph, less pump drag, and a tight grip on high compression. The elevated temperature of the previously combusted gas empowers the engine to function without relying on spark plugs, akin to a diesel engine. And the similarities with a diesel engine don't end there. The air-fuel mix is at a smooth 14.7 to 1, nodding to the diesel engine's 15 to 1 ratio. The pressure at which fuel is injected into the cylinder is a formidable 700 bars, a magnitude three times higher than that of gasoline engines, and nearly comparable to the injection pressure in diesel engines. This strategic move significantly elevates the engine's performance under low loads, resulting in commendable fuel efficiency. Mazda's two-stroke engine is a tech buffet. It borrows valve moves from four-stroke playbooks, integrates with diesel EGR systems for recycling gases, and executes one power stroke per revolution, doubling cylinder action. The oil remains untouched, and a cool compressor from two-stroke diesel engines keeps things breezy. And Mazda added Skyactiv technology, further boosting fuel efficiency. This engine is a technological symphony. However, like any compelling narrative, challenges come into play. When measuring the straightforward two-stroke counterpart, Mazda's RPMs won't be reaching astronomical heights. The risk of valve floating looms large. Keeping springs content below 8,000 revolutions per minute is essential. Assembling this intricate puzzle has its own complexities, escalating costs, and transforming production into a hard brain teaser. Plus, that heavyweight force induction system is adding some muscle to the ride, piling on the load with the cylinder head. So, how does it stack up against the competition? Firstly, having the expansion process occur only once per revolution per minute amps up the engine vibration. Secondly, ensuring a seamless fuel supply demands high-performance injection, especially under varying RPMs. Take, for instance, the high-pressure injector in beasts like the Mercedes-AMG2 ZLLBO M139, hitting a max rev of 7,200 revolutions per minute. High-pressure injection becomes non-negotiable for a seamless fuel supply. 
Mazda's two-stroke will probably be operating within a more relaxed RPM range, hovering around 4,000 revolutions per minute. Facing off against electric motors, it's the underdog in the thermal efficiency game. Diesel engines are scoring 40 to 50 percent, while electric champs are breezing around 50 to 60 percent. It might be a smidge behind, but tossing in the price tag of batteries and the delicacy of electric motor components, Mazda's two-stroke might just be the next big thing. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.